Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf at the beautiful Royal Quebec Indoor Academy. And wow, what an amazing Masters that was today. Holy mackerel. So we have, uh, and, and here's why, and we're going to talk about how and why Tiger won today. And obviously, the knowledge of the golf course paid huge dividends. Now, you know, the British Open last year, they were at a golf course that, you know, it's on a rota and they're not playing the same course every year. And this time around, you could see that the small things that Tiger did in comparison to Molinari and Finau and a couple of other guys uh, really brought that green jacket home. So Tiger, his plot, right? It's commitment and freedom, all right? So what's really important to understand is that he talks about working the ball from both sides and how he felt really able to deliver shots, you know, both with high draws and low fades and, and really deliver the shots that he needed to deliver um, in, in order to play the ball where it needed to be played. And this is what the fun part is. So you got course management and then you got shot execution. So before you commit to the shot, you're thinking about where you want to leave the ball in the event that you do miss. So, you know, on, on hole number six on Sunday, the best place to leave it was on the right side of the green pin high. And you could see that he, he basically bounced off of that area onto the green uh, for, for that particular shot right there. And he was coming in with a draw and that's his patented draw. Then on number seven, he, finagles this gorgeous fade into that, you know, front right pin position to a tap in range. It was just phenomenal. So, um, you know, being able to work it from both sides on a golf course like that is an absolute necessity. And I wanted to mention to you that I teach that to our complete beginners. I got Munashe over there, you know, we just gave him a nice lesson on putting and he's enjoying his lesson on putting right now, using momentum to roll the ball into specific pictures. And it's the picture of how the ball's gonna roll into the hole that feeds the central nervous system to distance control and ball contact and all that good stuff. So you're gonna love the video we just did with Munashi on rolling, on, on rolling balls, on rolling putts. So for Tiger, um, you know, another example of, of an amazing shot is that shot he hit on number 16 where he had to work that eight iron off the bank and he, he, you could see he knew that shot like the back of his hand. And, uh, and that beautiful shot he hit on number 12 when everybody else was in, in those two groups, you know, four guys in those two groups had put the ball in the water. And for Tiger, it was a, it was, it was a, you know, a non-starter. It was over the left edge of that bunker, and that was final. So being able to work the ball from both sides, and you do want to work the ball always. Never, ever try to hit a straight shot. The golf swing is an arc. So if I were to swing the club back and through and let the club cut the grass in both directions, you would see that everything is swinging around this center point, which is the sternal notch, where the two clavicles join the rib cage. And so, you know, knowing that you have angular momentum, the approach into the ball isn't straight. So for you to try and hit something straight out of an arc is an absolute manipulation. And that's what you want to stay away from, what you're looking for, like Rory said it, he says, when I, wanna, when I win, I want to win not stick handling the ball, not steering it and being careful. I want to win letting it go. And unfortunately for Rory, it just wasn't his week. So number one, you pick a flight plan. And Ti Tiger was very clear with Joe LaCava. Not only did they pick the shot, they had to pick trajectory, the height that they were going to flight the ball on. So please have a look at the best lesson I ever got from Mo Norman, Sean Clement, that's the title of it, and we're talking about picking the height of the shot. Mo Norman was a master at that, and that's why he was such an accurate ball striker. Because when you stay with your trajectory, you say, okay, I need to flight this ball a little bit down out of the wind. Then 
that's going to set you up. So let's say I have my intermediate point right here. And uh, here, while we're at it, let me get my, uh, my little GC quad so you can have a, a look-see at the ball flight on this thing. So if I wanted to flight that down, I got my intermediate point right here. I'm going to hit a low draw. I'm going to play the ball back in my stance, close the face a bit more. And what I'm doing right now is I'm matching the setup to the picture. And now, so let's say I'm throwing the club. You want a good task to deliver. And that's what we specialize in at Wisdom in Golf is giving you a task that's going to light you up so that you're not thinking about all these body parts because that is extremely detrimental to your swing. So that's what you see Tiger doing way more of is playing the shots. That's what we keep harping on, you know, Jordan Spieth to stop thinking about his golf swing and start playing golf shots. And that's how you perform because you can't perform when you're thinking about swing positions. So I'm gonna do that low draw, play the ball back and I'm going, okay, there's no way I can hit it low from here. This is gonna be way too much of a hook, but I feel that this, club face position will allow me to keep the ball down and give me my little draw. And so from here, I got my, my line that I'm going to start the ball on. I can't start it on that line from there. I can't go from here, but I can go for here. See, if it doesn't feel right and I have the wrong ball position and the wrong club face angle to that particular shot, I can't commit. That's what commitment means. It means you choose a shot you want to hit and then you got to execute into that shot and you got to find a setup that will allow you to deliver into that picture. Have a look at my predict solid contact and direction, Sean Clement, for this particular one. So back to that low draw. I got my ball position, I got my club face, I got my distance to ball, and I got my levels. It feels like I'm gonna really hit the ball solid if I deliver in that direction. So what's it gonna feel like? What's a smooth seven iron through the ball with a good pace feel like? Oh yeah, yeah, it feels about like that. And off the ball goes, ooh, nice little low draw, screaming over the flag stick right there. Good golly, hey Moo. That workout program that you just gave me, I just carry that seven iron, 186, dude. Seven iron? Seven iron. So my, my seven iron, which used to be 168 to 172 carry, I mean, it's just, this is my first swing of the day too. I had a good workout this morning. Dude, you're amazing. <laughs> we got some great programs coming up with Moo on the, and, and we're just working on our new website right now. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be amazing. The real way to work out for this machine in the true setting of the golf swing, not in a resist with the lower body and coil and hurt yourself kind of golf swing. This is the way you were meant to move. This is what's going to deliver kinetic chains with supreme power and very, very with a lot of ease. I mean, I can't believe how easy I hit that shot. 186 carry, dude. These are my blades. I'm not supposed to hit these this far. That's great music. Thank you, man. I can't wait to see that summertime. Appreciate it. So now if I wanted to hit a high fade, now I'm going to go left edge of that intermediate point, and I'm going to go above my little diamond-shaped target, club in the center ball forward. I have to lunge for it. Don't. If I play the ball too far back, it feels like... I can't get it up in the air enough, so I gotta reach back. That feels proper, okay. So from there, it feels like I got my shot. So what's the, what's the task? Well, if I throw the club into that direction, it feels like I'm gonna cut that dandelion stem and, and I'm gonna have solid contact and proper direction. So I'm gonna stay with that nice throw in that direction. Throw it in that direction. Really nice. Caught that a little thin. Nice high fade. So even my high fade is 178 carry. And um, yeah, I just that was a straight fade that just stayed a little left of my target. So 
It is that easy to be able to work the ball. You just need a setup to match the picture. And then once your setup matches the picture, all you need to do is deliver a task in the direction that you want the ball to start. So I have my intermediate point here, and I'm just sending it in the direction of that intermediate point. You know, this Masters has got to be um, one of the, the most fun Masters I, I've had to see. I saw a stoic guy, and you should have seen, did you see Tiger twirling his putter on the way down number 12, and he crossed the bridge and went to mark his ball while the other two were, you know, getting their yardages for their, you know, for their third shots. I mean, that was just classic. And then hitting the beautiful drive on number 13 and coming in with an iron and, and being there on every shot, every step of the way and not letting up. Uh, really, truly amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, and enjoyed the Masters as much as I did. And um, hey, we'll see you real soon. All the best.